You here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Actually, I have. Excellent. Ready to lock them in? Once you make this decision, Miz will let corporate know it's official, so you can't change your mind. Besides, we really need to start promoting the participants, and Miz has big plans he wants to kick off for the Build to Survivor series. I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know. We're cutting away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Is this part of their War Games team? Luckily, Luke Gallows is here to back up his partner. Let's get back to ringside as we monitor this developing situation. Cody Rhodes has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship, but has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Games team. And what a lineup they've assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. He might not even make it to War Games. And there's their captain, the WWE Universal Champion. Cody Rhodes is surrounded. Hold on. Cody has backup. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson was taken out. This is about to explode. Here we go. Hold on. Not on my bloody show, gentlemen. Save it for war games. Come on, Regal. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move, if you ask me. That's enough. And there it is. And Regal gets nailed by SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. You think? William Regal has been a mentor to the so-called Dark Horse, invading Raw was a slap in the face, and now he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend accidental or not well for now it looks like team smackdown is going to retreat this didn't break into an all-out war but they delivered a strong message here tonight i agree corey we didn't know who would represent the blue brand in survivor series and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage i can't wait We did what Miz asked, and honestly, it didn't turn out that great. I never wanted to assault William Regal. What do you mean? It was must-see TV! Especially the part when you nailed Regal! Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And where is he even? I haven't seen him anywhere since I got to the building. Well, with, um, tensions escalating and who knows how Raw would retaliate, Miz thought it was better if he stayed home this week. So, he ran away again. Got it. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has so much confidence in his team captain that he wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Okay, and you want my decision now? Yes, and Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on you. So choose wisely. 
good. I'll let the boss know. just became phenomenal. After a bit of an invasion on Raw, the phenomenal AJ Styles and a SmackDown opponent are giving us a preview of the upcoming War Games match at Survivor Series. Yeah, these two will compete at Survivor Series, but a singles match can't really reflect the chaos and destruction of War Games. I hear you, Corey, but any good tactician will take any edge they can get to prepare for such a brutal match. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Solid contact from the Viper. Oh, dear, this doesn't look good. Handle smash. And now Styles is under immense pressure. Yeah, Styles is suffering the brutality of the Viper. Styles gets him back. AJ looking to get back in this. But Styles still has to do more to get this fully in his favor. Oh, what power with the German. Oh, and it looked like AJ Styles got hit with a bold attack that time. And there's that effortless offense from Orton. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tearing at the face. Randy completely dictating the pace here. And Randy Orton is on a roll here. Oof, kick finds it. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Wearing down the knee and the elbow, too. They are fading off the WWE fans, now pinning the arm down, and... Oh, stop right to the hand. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. And AJ only finds himself on the defensive. But AJ can't let this flourish derail him. Just cranking the head. Smashing the head into an unforgiving surface. Uh, effective arm drag. Here we go. Slingshot sent on. Risking it all and able to connect like a homing missile. Nice hip toss. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. Take down, put it to the cross face, gets cinched in. This could be over. Oh, gonna tap. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. The Viper cannot believe this. That should have ended this match, but it continues for the victory here. Kicks out. How? How? Uh-oh. Counters the Viper. 
Piper's attack. Styles allowing the WWE Universe to revitalize his bulldog mentality. Perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Oh, that right there will rock you. Precision offense from the Viper. The attacks will not relent from the Viper. And he barely... Get to the ropes, forcing the break. A lot of damage done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. Styles reminding his opponent just who they're in the ring with. Oh, right in there. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. Oh, nice hip toss. Big punch finds its mark. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Measuring. Oh, face stop. Into the corner. This can't be good. Ball oh, uppercut. That'll knock you silly. That's a free fall. Looking to take flight here. Blast off! You gotta love the lowdown! Springboard, the Viper escapes hard. Oh, a roundhouse kick! And AJ reverses, trading back and forth blows now. Slugging away with everything they've got. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Ooh. The willpower. The sheer guts of these two. Boom. Oof. And he was ready for it. Exhaustion setting in, and neither one of them is letting up. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Styles has that look. Gonna try to end it. AJ Styles setting him up. With the Styles clash. Orton is in big, big trouble. For the win. There's two. He stays alive. The Viper remains alive. Randy Orton continues the fight here tonight. And AJ used what has put so many men away in the past, but to no avail. Taking flight. All the way to the outside. Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. He's returning fire. Slides him back to the mat. Down to Odin. And a double axe handle smash. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. And more attacks up there could leave him stunned. Each blow affecting his equilibrium. Fought off 
dropped with an elbow. On a flying forearm smack. Devastating attack from the Viper. Two. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end. Here is your winner, the Viper, Randy Orton. Randy Orton brings down AJ Styles. It may have taken longer than Orton wanted to, but the Viper got the job done in thrilling fashion. The Viper came here and proved he was ready for war. He wanted to fight and would not relent until he was victorious. There is nothing more dangerous than when the Viper goes in for the kill. You know there's no such thing as a brand war, right? We all get our checks from the same place. What? Next thing you're gonna tell me is we weren't actually gonna get married. Seriously, though. I know, I know. You're not wrong. Working with Miz again is the worst. Especially since it all started because Regal hurt his feelings on a talk show. Doesn't take much. <laughs> right? But now it's gotten personal with Cody nailing me with that cheap shot and then everything with Regal. So you can criticize how we got here all you want. But when we step inside those cages, I'm going to make sure my team does whatever it takes to survive. Understood. Well, even though technically we're on opposite sides, mind if I bum a ride to the building? Sure. Anything for my fiancé. That's more like it. The following is a Miz War Games match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins. The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage will result in a forfeit. Now, let the War Games begin! Representing Blue with his eyes set on War Games supremacy, it's the WWE Universal Champion. Introducing first, from Queens, New York, weighing in at 221 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Cactus Jack. War Games is the perfect setting to either rise to the occasion or crash and burn. SmackDown has a formidable group, but I'm not sure if I'd hold my breath for the fairy tale ending. If the champ and Seth Rollins can put their differences aside, just imagine what they're capable of doing together in the ring.
War has been declared. Now all that's left is the question of who will fire the first shot and who will survive. champions, including U.S. champ A.J. Styles. And representing the O.C. from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the phenomenal A.J. You have to think that the undisputed Universal Champion is anticipating the entry of one man, Cody Rhodes. The WWE Universe has been waiting for these guys to get their hands on each other for years. But the champ better not overlook the rest of Team Raw, especially AJ Styles. For Team Raw, this fight is personal. The battle lines are drawn. Red versus blue. Raw versus SmackDown. Champions fill out both sides of the battlefield. But who will lead their team to victory? Call me biased, but I think the WWE Universal Champion has put so much work into building the best War Games team possible that I think SmackDown takes it tonight. But can you imagine the chip on the shoulder of Raw Kappen and World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes? It was Cody who was on the losing end when the Dark Horse became champion so long ago. Cody can exact some revenge tonight. That was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. AJ capitalizes on that misstep. This isn't pretty. Uh, hung up with the top rope and then bounced off the cage. Ah, uh, setting them up for a, for a fisherman buster. Styles has the momentum against him here. AJ's got to assert himself back in this one. What a wrist clutch suplex. Bam. Vicious right forearm. Good golly, Miss Molly. Uh-oh. Suplex lights out. They've got their opponent's arm. Vicious knee drop. Oh, oh look at the well placed elbow right on the mark. He turns it around. Only seconds away from giving their team the numbers advantage. Oh, man, drop kick. And for the team on the wrong side of this entry, things have gotten that much more grueling. Counters that. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Styles has no control here. This can't be how AJ envisioned tonight going. And over to the other ring he goes. process is at this point. Impressive reversal on Rollins. He tosses him over and into the other ring. Ow. Oh. The next 
Centering incoming to even up the odds. Out of the cage and rushing in to erase the numbers advantage. Great job refocusing to reverse that. The teams are squared up, but he doesn't think that's enough, apparently. I'm just being tossed away there. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. That's going to be a moment you want to forget it very soon. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Oh, jumping knee strike. Lights out. Vicious right forward. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Oh, fall to the back. Going up the cage now must have some sort of strategy in mind. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh. Incoming. to escape the attack. Oh. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Tossed clear across that gap and crashing down into the opposite ring. Rolling neck snap. Leg trapped. Looking for the heel hook stretch. Oh, that's going to hurt. surely become the time turner for their team. Rollins with a reversal. Searching under the ring now. This can't be good. And now having to deal with that weapon was like going up against two competitors at once. The odd man in, and he's looking for an ace up his sleeve now. Oh, Courtney! Climbing to the top rope. If this lands, it's over. to be even in this one, and he wants to make sure that he's coming down with a leg drop. Climbing into the ring, pretty much entering a war zone. Whoa! Turn that kendo stick into a long dog. Oh, so that could be Gallo's demise. This won't win the match. Looking to free the arm and does just that. He just got sent flying into the opposite ring. Nice. Counting down the seconds as this match gets closer to me. teammates immediately stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg basement drop kick shifts it back onto him where's the arm in that AJ Styles looking to end this right here right now
Wall. He's got something in my and meanwhile the Viper. Oh, oh, that just happened. AJ's eyes are glazed over. No way. Oh, an air bar from up high. I think that impact might have left the crater in this arena. Take down. Put over the cross face. It's cinched in. This could be over. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. He's all the way up to the top, and this can only end so many ways. None of them great. Continues the attack on the core. It could prove to be an effective strategy. He's reached the top, but he's risking losing the whole match if he falls to the outside. Wait a second. He's going up the wall? The extreme war games meant... the side of that cage. I sense danger for everyone coming. He's in a dangerous situation up there. Where's this headed? No! Oh, good luck. The force in which that landed is still reverberating through the arena. This champion. Cody holds on. Is this it? And he nailed the crossroads. Could that do One, it? Two, three. It's over. World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes and Team Raw have just defeated the WWE Universal Champion and SmackDown. It's been several years since the legend of the Dark Horse was born, built on a victory over Cody Rhodes that many said was a fluke due to the interference of Roman Reigns. Did the World Heavyweight Champion just prove everyone right? I have a feeling these two will meet again down the line with a lot more at stake. We'll see about that, Michael. Unbelievable. Until then, this is Team Raw and the American Nightmares Night to stand tall over WWE.